Hello, everyone. I'm Yuki Kaneko, International Program Associate of JSPS. Thank you for having us today. And I'd like to introduce some of our international programs for research in Japan and with Japan, including a brief introduction of another, uh, another organization and its program for health research. Here are today's topics in my presentation. I'll talk about the outline of JSPS, then I'll explain the details of international programs in the rest of the presentation. First of all, it might be necessary for your better understanding to mention how research in Japan is like. Japan is a place where ancient traditions are fused with modern life as if it, it were the most natural thing in the world. Every day, researchers and students at various kinds of organizations, such as universities, graduate schools, businesses, and enterprises are contributing to social development through a variety of research, and they make endeavors to create the newest and latest theories and technology for shaping the future. Japan invests greatly on research and development, which makes a high GDP growth, and we provide you with unique research environments and career opportunities by stimulating your curiosity and inspiration. Let me start with some explanations of what JSPS is and what we are doing. JSPS, which stands for Japan Society for the Promotion of Science, is the Japanese largest funding agency for researchers and research institutes. It was established through an endowment by Emperor Showa in 1932. Our current president is Dr. Susumu Satomi, a surgeon and the former president of Tohoku University. JSPS places high value on both autonomy of researchers and research diversity. We are supporting full range of creative and pioneering research from basic to applied field. As you can see the center at the bottom, there's this JSPS emblem showing a growing rooster. It's been believed that the vigorous cry of the rooster in the gray of the morning augurs coming of the new and bright day. Therefore, the crowing rooster can be thought as a harbinger of the kind of new knowledge for a brilliant future for mankind. That's because JSPS chose it as an emblem. There are five program periods for implementing programs of JSPS creating the world-class knowledge in diverse fields, fostering the next generation of researchers to pioneer knowledge, harnessing university strengths and enhance educational research capability, building a robust international research base, and building a comprehensive academic information analysis base. This slide gives an overview of our international programs we are making endeavors for contributing to society through these activities based on the five program pillars. Number one, supporting international joint research and seminars, both bilateral and multilateral. Number two, providing international training opportunities. Number three and four, conducting inbound and outbound international researcher exchanges. And number five, supporting internationalization of universities. We are collaborating with 98 institutes, institutions in 53 countries or regions through these programs. In this presentation, I'll explain briefly about bilateral collaborations in number one and number, about number three. This slide shows the outline of our fellowship programs for in inviting overseas researchers to Japan. JSPS carries out a variety of invitation fellowship programs that are intended to help advance the overseas researchers' research activities while promoting science and promoting 
science and internationalization in Japan. JSPS provides fellows with their air tickets, living allowance, and overseas travel insurance. Fellows are also able to apply for a research grant. This slide shows more details about fellowships for doctoral students and postdocs. JSPS provides two different fellowship programs for early career researchers. One is short-term for U.S., Canada, and European researchers. Young pre- and postdoc researchers come to Japan for relatively short tenure for 1 to 12 months to conduct joint research at the Japanese institution. Applicants must be a doctoral student who are scheduled to obtain PhD within two years or postdocs who obtain PhD within six years when the fellowship term begins. The second one is a standard fellowship. This allows researchers affiliated with Japanese universities or research institutes to in, invite, promo, invite promising young researchers from overseas to Japan to participate in collaborative research activities at their institutions for one to two years. For both of two fellowship programs, fellows are expected to conduct research activities with Japanese host researchers during these terms. Candidates are allowed to, allowed to apply for two programs simultaneously, but they need to pick up one of those if accepted to both programs. I'll explain the two ways for application for the program. Firstly, I need to address the main difference between these two application methods. In open recruitment, applic applicants apply by a host researcher in Japan, but the other one is applicants apply by nominating authorities. The way to, the way to apply is depending on the request of each program, so make sure to check JSP's website beforehand. In open recruitment, overseas researchers are requested to find a prospective host researcher in Japan and ask him or her to apply for the program as a host. If it's accepted to apply by the host researcher, then the applicant needs to submit some documents to the host, such as an application form and a recommendation letter from his or her supervisor. After the process, the host institution will be responsible for submitting the appli applications to JSPS. When the applicant successfully passes the document review and panel review, he or she will be able to visit Japan at JSPS Fellows. Also, overseas researchers are able to apply through nominating authorities in their own country in some programs. In this case, you will still need to consult with your supervisor and get some documents signed by him or her or as a related researcher. When you finish co collecting all the application documents, you'll be able to directly submit to nominating authorities. After the application, nominating authorities will select the appropriate candidates and then JSPS finally decide over these. These two schemes are for more experienced researchers. The first one is long-term program for assistant or higher level professors. Researchers who have six or more years of research experience after PhD also are eligible in this program. Term of this fellowship is from two to 10 months and fellows are expected to conduct joint research with Japanese host researchers during this period. The second one is what is called short-term program for associate professors or higher level professors. Fellowship period is 14 to 60 days, relatively short, short, and the fellows are expected to hold discussions, engaging opinion exchanges with Japanese researchers and to deliver lectures. Now, you might want to know how, to, how you can find Japanese researchers that you can be connected. Let me talk about some ways to find them. 
The research map will be useful for you to find Japanese researchers by name, affiliation, research keywords, location in Japan, and so on. The website could provide some help, some help when you search for possible host researchers. JSPSNet is a social networking service aiming to facilitate exchange among researchers and research support personnel. The main function includes funding member, finding members from various research fields, creating your own group, making an event announcement to other members. This service is for free to use and open to all researchers, students, and staff at researcher support organizations. Please visit the website and register if you are interested. I'd also like to introduce you this guidebook, Life in Japan for Foreign Researchers published by JSPS. It provides useful information for living in Japan to visiting researchers. You can find its online version on JSPS website. If you are interested in this book, we have a few copies, so please, please come to our seat later. Now, I'm going to tell you about research opportunities with Japan, especially bilateral collaborations. There are two types of bilateral programs. One is programs based on memorandum of understandings. The other one is not, which is called open partnership joint projects and seminars. We'll focus on the latter one today. Please take a look at this slide. We've launched a scheme that allows bilateral cooperation with all countries which have diplomatic relations with Japan. Agencies in those countries can participate in this program regardless of whether or not they have an MOU with JSPS. It gives all researchers around the world an opportunity to conduct bilateral joint research projects or seminars with funded Japanese colleagues. The program started from 2013 and covers all academic fairs. It provides funding to the Japanese researchers for a joint project or seminars. Their counterpart researchers are expected to secure matching funds on their own from any funding agencies. We are supporting the cost of the Japanese teams, mainly travel expenses and accommodations, which is up to 2 million yen, approximately approximately $18,000 per year for joint research project or seminar. The maximum duration is two years for joint research projects and one week for seminars. Now, I'll briefly introduce another funding agency, AMEDAL, Japan Agency for Medical Research and Development. It was established in 2015 and promotes medical R&D from basic research to clinical research or tri trials by funding. There are nine priority areas st stipulated in Japan's healthcare policy as indicated here. Those areas will be revised after this April. AMEDO also has an op overseas office in Washington, D.C., like JSPS. If you have any questions about AMEDO and their programs, please visit their website. Picked from, picked from AMEDO programs, I'll explain an international program for health research between the US, Japan, and Asia Pacific region implemented by NIH and AMEDO. It's called US Japan Collaborative Medical Science Program and one of the oldest bilateral programs of NIH since 1965. 50th anniversary was celebrated in, US, in the US back in 2016. The main activities of this program are implementing international meetings and supporting research collaborations and fostering the exchange of sci scientists among US, Japan, and the Asia Pacific region um, 10 research areas. 
For this program, NIAID and NCI of NIH are acting as U.S. Committee, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports, Science, and Technology, Ministry of Health, Labor, and Welfare, AMEDO, National Institute of Infectious Diseases are working on Japan and This program also places early stage female scientists to foster research collaboration in infectious diseases and immunology and encourage their mentoring and training. Please look at the bottom on the left. It is the first joint research program by AMEDO and NIH. The study results were presented at Emerging Infectious Disease Conferences. Currently, the call is open, and the deadline is March 16th. The information of, of this program is also available in your paper folder. Please, please read it as well. And back to JSPS. Now I'd like to mention JSPS Overseas Offices activities. As Professor Hirata mentioned before, JSPS has eight overseas offices and two research stations around the world. Each offices and stations have their missions, including liaising with overseas counterpart institutions, holding symposiums, and supporting alumni networks among former JSPS fellows. JSPS Washington office was established in 1990 in order to strengthen academic networks between Japan and the United States. Current office director is Dr. Koji Hirata, who made a speech before. Our, our activities cover the U.S. and Canada. As you can see in this diagram, we've been conducting a variety of activities based on the networks with other science related organizations, such as universities, research institutes, funding agencies, and the association of former JSPS fellows. The picture upper right is a forum, which is called Science in Japan Forum, held at Washington, D.C. on June 7, 2019. The theme was New Eyes on the Universe, and we invited various notable researchers and they gave some excellent speeches to the audiences. We also support an alumni association of JSPS former fellows in the United States and Canada. This association was founded in 2004 and now made up of approximately 700 of ex JSPS fellows. As you can see in this slide, people who have been currently residing and have an affiliation with research organization in the U.S. and Canada are eligible for regular membership. To become a member, please visit the Alumni Association website. You can also access via our JSPS Washington office website. This is the end of my presentation. If you have interested in it, please feel free to visit our website or email us. Thank you for your attention.